So here is the second thread that we'll be using to make our chains. It's still the same stitch, you're just going to hold it ever so slightly different. Hold it as though you were crocheting. So it's wrapped around your pinky, up over the top, pinched with your middle finger and thumb. Wrap it around your pinky, up over the top, pinch it with your middle finger and thumb. We're going to start with a ring, same as our previous pattern. Hold it upside down because we're going to want our chains to go in that direction. There's a little more to hold on to, but other than that, it's exactly the same. So towards you, under, over, flip the knot and pull it down so it's nice and snug next to that next chain. Away from you, over, under, there's one. Towards you, under, over, away from you, over, under, flip the knot. So there's two. Towards you, under, over, flip the knot, away from you, over, under, flip the knot. Towards you, under, over, flip the knot, away from you, over, under, flip the knot. Towards you, under, over, flip the knot, away from you, over, under, flip the knot. So, and if you pull them ever so slightly, they'll curve a little bit. So now, we're going to make another ring. So turn it back the right way, hold on to your last knot, wrap your shuttle thread around your hand, and go ahead and make another ring. Joining the pico, remember, just fish that thread up through the pico, and pull your shuttle through it, and then carry on our pattern with three stitches, a decorative pico, three stitches, the pico to join to the next ring, and three more stitches to close. Pull it down. We'll continue on with our chain. Flip it over, wrap it around your pinky and up over the back of your hand, just like in crocheting. Hold on to it and we're going to make this chain knot right here next to this last one. So, towards you, under, over, pull your knot down kind of tighten in there, away from you, over, under, and pull it down. One. Towards you, under, over, flip the knot, away from you, over, under, flip the knot. Towards you, pull, away from you, and pull. Towards you, and pull, away from you, pull towards you, pull away from you, and pull. So what do we have? One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Give it just a little bit of a tug and turn it back over and we'll make another ring right here next to this last one. So, towards you, under, over, flip the knot, pull it right in there next to the last chain stitch, away from you, one. Three. All right. 
go through your pico, pull that string up through, pass your shuttle through and tighten it down. Make sure it still slides and it does. All right, three more. One. Two. Three. Now we'll make our decorative pico. Oops. All right, so if that happens, just pull your knot back out through. And try it again. I think that's about good. Hold it tight. One, two, three. All right, the pico to join to the next ring. A little space. One, two, Pull it in tight. And there we have our little pattern with the chain. So I think that's a good place to leave it for today. We have our ring with no picos. We have a ring with picos. We have our little pattern with picos joining and decorative picots. And then lastly, we have the same pattern only with a chain in between instead of just a string. So those are the basics and also like 95% of what tatting is. You have rings, you have picots, and you have chains if you want them. I hope that this helped and we'll see you again next time. Bye.